Wild Bill Hickok was his name, shot from the hip without a taken name. Indians, outlaws, rebels, bear were shot by the man with the shoulder length hair. Well, I'm the man. Now I'm Hickok. James Butler Hickok. Though most folks do call me Wild Bill. So I can tell you without fear of contradiction that most of those stories you've heard about me are exaggerations. Some are outright lies and all have come out of my mouth at least a time or two. For you see, you kind folks, you pay your admission. I don't want to disappoint you. I want to give you what you come to expect, what you think you already know about me. The trouble is, I've been trapped here doing that for nigh on to 140 years, and I am plumb done in. Then they were done with all the talk. And they made to take this boy over to a good stout looking branch. Well, I put myself between that mob and their destination and I said, you will not hang this boy without a trial. A couple of them made a move on me and I put two right past them. So close to them I could see their expressions change when those balls went whizzing past their ears. As there were no other challenges. That was the end of that lynching. And as I was walking back to the saloon, taking many slaps on my back for the more decent citizens, who, by the way, had stayed indoors with their noses pressed against windows until all was settled. And there was a girl in the crowd there, and she yelled out, Hey, Bill, ain't you a wild one? <laughs> yeah, people started calling me Wild Bill. Just stuck. Oh, I guess I, I didn't mind it much, though. I guess that was kind of wild, me just jumping into the fray that way, but you see, I don't like bullies. Not by themselves or by the bunch. Respect. It's all about respect. A deep-seated, sobering respect, one that does not get washed away with the application of liquor or bravado. That's when I needed to handle 5,000 whiskey-soaked Texas drovers with just me and a couple of deputies to do it, and that's what I had. So if a man wanted to bleed my reputation, that I killed 100 men blazing away with my Colts, that I never backed down and once in a fracas, I always come out on top, I was not gonna dissuade him of that notion. So if I was in a saloon having a taste, or at the gaming tables or in a sporting house. And somebody started one of those conversations that begin with, Mr. Hickok, is it true? Well, hell, I usually just went along with whatever feat of dare and do had been assigned me. And if people need to remind them, a show of my shooting skill usually served me and my reputation well. So if someone wanted to see me as an avenging angel doing God's own work, or as a drunken debaucher with a hair trigger set of colts and a badge that I didn't much care. And so the peace was kept in Abilene. And the only trouble I ever had was trouble I brought on myself with whiskey, women, and cards all apart. And my eyes, my eyes had begun to bother me greatly. Without warning, I'd get these fearsome headaches. My eyes would go all blurry. This is not a good situation for a man of my reputation making his living behind a badge. It wasn't long after that, the Cheyenne started it again, and I went back to Scotland for the cavalry. 
I spend my days scouting and my nights drinking and gambling. Would have gone on like that for some time, I presume. But one day, in February of 69, I caught a Cheyenne Lance right here in my hip. I managed to dispatch two or three of them. They run off and killed my horse, so I had to figure out how to get that spear out of me, get the bleeding stopped, and get back to the fort, using that spear as a walking stick. Well, I didn't get very far. I passed out like a woman with the vapors. It was nothing but dumb luck that a wood detail from the fort found me the next morning and dragged my sorry ass back. It uh, just so happened <clears throat> that little Bill Cody happened to be in the fort, and he hears of my dire predicament, and he comes a-running. He bursts through the door saying, Oh, Bill, oh, my stalwart, is it true? Is it true that you've been laid low by a savage's lance? I said, Bill, Bill Cody, I reached out to him like I had one eye on the promised land. I said, is that you? Is that you, my old partner? He said, oh, yes, Bill. Yes, Bill, it's me. Shh, now, my old friend, you go now. You go to your reward knowing that I will avenge your death by heathen's hands. I said, oh, promise me that. Promise me that, Bill, I said, clutching at him. And one more thing, lean closer. One more thing before I go. Hold this spear for me so I can get up and get a drink, will you? <laughs> well, <laughs> there were plenty around the herd and plenty around that laughed. I looked over at Cody. He was standing there with that spear in his hand looking at me like, Maybe he'd like to put it back from where it come. Or maybe use my ass as a port of entry. So I real quick said, Bill Cody, you are a friend such as few men can claim. And I want you to keep that dirt worshiper's lance as a sign of my undying friendship, regard, and gratitude. And he did. He may have it still for all that. right then, for the first time I really saw Jack McCall's eyes. They were green, like spring wheat, like a tonic bottle, and shot through with flecks of gold. put me to mind of Miss Martha Edward. I thought of my mother and my sisters and my brothers, my father, and all that flat land I wanted so bad to be away from. back there now. All these powerful thoughts passed through me in an instant. When I came out of my reverie, I was still looking at Jack McCall's eyes, but these were not the eyes of Martha Edwards. These were not kind and gentle. Oh, they were green and glittering, all right. And just as crazy a pair of eyes as I'd ever seen. And in that next moment, Something passed between Jack McCall and me. Something that felt like an agreement. All right, Jack, says I. You go on now. And you think about this. Charlie Utter had heard all this. He leaned in and whispered in my ear, I'd watch that one if I was you, Bill. To get on the Wild and Willie mailing list, just send me an email to the address below, and I'll make sure you're notified of all my appearances, comedy dates, everything Wild and Willie.